Bogdan, this is a week where you, as the captain, have to make some very big decisions. You don't know what shape Novak will be in. What's your thinking behind nominating Novak for tomorrow and Yanko for the doubles? Well, we get used to it. I mean, this is the second time last year. This is almost the same situation like with uh, against the Czech Republic last year's semi-finals. So we have the same situation now. Uh, the only thing that we need to change something about finals at Monday in uh, New York. So after that, if the Americans build that roof, then it's going to be much easier to play this semi-final match. How easy is it for you to prepare with a team that's missing its biggest player? Well, uh, Novak is, let's say, all, all the time actually with us. I mean, he's supporting the players and during the, the ATP tour on the tournaments, they're sharing their time together and spending a lot of time on the tour together. So they are like, you know, the, the big family. So he's coming today and he's going to try to practice and we will see after this day if he, he's going to be ready for the Friday. Still the good thing is that all the players they want to compete for the Serbia and that's the good thing for me because I have one best player in the world and then another 13, number 16 and Nenad who is number one for many years in doubles and very let's say much varieties in, in doubles with him, you know, to play the match. So that's a good task for me. And what do you think of Argentina's decision to pick Nalbandian for the first day? Well, Nalbandian is a very experienced player. I mean, he's one of the best Davis Cup players, you know, in the history for sure. He's playing very good tennis in all the surfaces. And I think that's one of the reasons and that he is now in the team at Argentina for the first day.